stems from just most recently a conversation we were having about signs and prayer and God and the messages I'm getting and about Nashville. And I feel that you can answer this. And it's not a question I've ever asked anyone before. Not not on air. Uh, not in this industry. When, when we were to or would hear somebody say, they believe in God. They feel and believe, you know, the direction is there. They thank God. One of the, the things that stands out in my mind, Austin, is growing up and I'm like, okay, you got to be careful about false prophets or intention. Right. With you, I don't feel that. You, I, I We are here because I know where your heart's at and I feel it and, and we've got a synergy here. And there are times when things just flow and work. They connect effortlessly, and you just know that there's something very, very special about that. But yeah. I find that most people use loosely, whether in at award shows or things that they're doing, praising God, thanking God, all of that. But I also find in the entertainment industry, it seems as though when I hear it and listen, and then with good intent and intentions, I, I look to feel as to where's the authenticity in that. How do you recognize when people use certain verbiages or reference God? How do you recognize knowing that they are a true believer? And I'm not talking religiously. I mean a true believer that that person believes that there is something so much more powerful, something that is unseen but yet so physical in making its presence known of what we call God, how do you recognize when someone speaks truth and through faith in that and when someone is just recklessly and carelessly using it in a way to either manipulate, coerce, or try to convince a mutual connection? I think for me, and and I can answer that, but for me where my head goes with that question is something that my mom has taught me um, all my life. And it's really, it's not for me to know. And I think that that statement has given me so much peace with every decision I've had to make with every question I've had to ponder um, every decision that some things aren't for me to know. And I have learned that very quickly. You'll, you'll, by the end of this interview, you'll see that I'm an old soul. I may not sound like I'm 22, <laughs> but um, I've learned that some things it's just not for me to know. You know, when I look around and I see people, I, I was born and raised in church. And so I have been around my whole life, people who are real and people who are fake. And the thing is with church and with, and with the world, where there's people, there's problems that will never change. And I think you have to begin to see that people carry with them so much more than who they are. They carry memories. They carry baggage. They carry so much with them. We carry who we are. I believe that that it's so bundled up in so many things. And so for me, I would, the answer to that would be to make sure that I know that I'm genuine, to make sure that I know that I am walking the walk to make sure that you know that Stephen is walking in authenticity and that when he speaks that there's weight. That's something that, I've, that I have desired in my life is I want my words to have weight. I want my words to carry wisdom. And my grandfather is someone who, who embodies that. And he's someone who is slow to speak, but when he speaks, his words carry weight. And that's someone I, I grew up around and that's someone who I admire closely. And, and I have, even this, just this year, I have began to, to speak slower and be slower to, to jump to a conclusion, to jump to a statement and remember my grandfather and, and when he speaks, there's weight. I think that's a lot of the problem in this world today is there's so much noise there's so much, you know, we live in a world that does not lack wisdom. It, they don't lack knowledge. There, there is more knowledge in this world than we've ever had, but yet it's, it's more chaotic than it's ever been. And I believe it's because there's words that don't carry weight. There's so much noise. And one thing I believe that 
that um, that I hear God when when I'm praying is is don't add to the noise, don't add to the noise, but really, really speak through the noise. And those are the things that become piercing. And so when I think about authenticity and I think about God and and and, and whatever you believe, if you believe that the, that it's a higher power or, or or the universe, whatever you believe, you have to know that that you're here for a reason and and because of that walk in authenticity when you speak it needs to have weight and so i think for for that question i think you really have to look inwardly you know we were talking before that god is we believe that god is within us and so if you really believe that 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 hope and purpose and and this higher being that i believe is god is within me i have to be looking inwardly i cannot I cannot be looking at what else is going around me all the time because then I'm losing that thing that's so special from that's from within. And so I've learned really to sit. I meditate in, in the morning. I pray in the morning. I go to sleep praying. I pray throughout my day. It, it's a meditation. It's a practice. It's, it's a daily decision to look inwardly because I believe that it's really, it's really something that's within us. It's not found outside of us. And so that's, that's kind of my thoughts on that. I appreciate you for that answer.